All right, hello everyone and welcome back to Cutabo Space Program, where today we are having a look at the Signal Delay mod, which is being made by user Garwell Garwell. And what this glorious little piece of work looks to add into the game is, well, Signal Delay, which is going to make your deep space probe missions a lot more difficult, as now you will have a delay between giving your probe an action and when it will achieve it. And that, of course, will be determined by the ComNet connectivity. You know, making it a bit more realistic. And I actually really like this mod, so let's take a look at what it does give us. But first, and why we're still here in the main menu, is because there are some options to look at. So in the game difficulty, we can go down here to the Signal Delay category, and we have just one column of things, so it shouldn't take too long to go through. And the first is whether or not you want the delay to be enabled. So effectively, if you turn this off, it turns off the mod. Next is if you wish to actually bend slash break the laws of physics and adjust the speed of light. Because of course, this is going to affect the time delay that your signal has. And so yeah, if you, if you want to mess with physics, go ahead, but I'd say leave it default. The next is if the delay is going to be basically one way or round trip as for how long it actually takes. So with round trip, it means when you hit the action, it's going from your probe back to Kerbin here and then back to the probe. And so you can turn that off, which will basically cut down your delay in half. And then we have the sensitivity, and this is the sensitivity of how fast the throttle moves when you press the keys to throttle up and down. And at 100% it'll basically be the same normal one-to-one -one ratio, uh, and then of course the time delay. And you can adjust that to be either faster or, or faster or slower, which slower of course would give you a bit more fine-tuned control with the delay. The next is the hide part action. Now one sort of loophole for this mod is of course the uh you know when you right click on a part you can then click the button that does the action and if you do that it will do the action just right away with no time delay so you can hit this button here to turn off those action buttons that way if you want to say activate an experiment like observe mystery goo you have to add it to an action group and so it does limit you with your action groups and how much you can do, but it also does keep you with that signal delay realism. Now the next is uh, the display of your signal delay, which I don't know why you'd ever turn this off. It's kind of important to know how many seconds or even minutes or possibly more it's going to take for your signal to get back to you and do the thing. So I don't know why you turn it off, but you can. Next is that the antennae in the game now use electric charge basically to maintain that constant connection back with the Kerbal Space Center here for the commands to happen. And you can adjust how that electric charge usage affects signal strength here with this slider, which is quite handy. Uh, and I actually do like that. It does make the antenna in my mind a bit more realistic since it is constantly using electric charge. But of course you can disable that here if you don't like that. Next is the app launcher button, and that will add a toolbar button when you're in flight mode for you to be able to enable or disable the mod while you're playing instead of having to, you know, start a new game and, and turn it off that way. And finally, we have the debug mode for if you have an error, you can hopefully maybe find out why. And those are all the options, so let's go into my save file here where I have a probe positioned about five seconds worth of signal delay away from the Kerbal Space Center here. So let's go over to that so we can have a look at how this does all work. We'll go to fly. At least it should be, yeah, 4.5 seconds. So there we go, right there in the top left-hand portion of the screen is our delay for our signal. And that is very good information to know. Now over on the right-hand side on our toolbar is where we have this button here, which allows us to enable or disable the mod. So if we click it, it no longer is a thing, and you can see that the time delay here is now gone, and we can control this probe just like we normally would. As you can see here, I'm wiggling it around. Now if I turn this uh, back on, the delay comes back, and now if I go to move, 
I just held down A. Nothing happened. There it goes after roughly five seconds, which makes SAS a lot more important. So I'm gonna hit radial in and I'm gonna click in one, two, three, four, five. There we go. A little bit off, but it did eventually get there. And I have actually found that, uh, well, granted me counting isn't the most accurate measure ever, but I have found that this delay doesn't seem to be 100% accurate, especially the further out I go. I had it out at Joule earlier when I was testing, and it had about an eight and a half minute delay, and it actually took about eight minutes and 40 seconds. So, Something's a little weird with that, but I mean when you're at the eight minute mark you're gonna be fast forwarding anyway So I don't see that being too much of a problem But yes, it is an interesting mod here because now we do have to control our probes a bit more realistically So if I want to flip this thing around and hit radial out We're gonna to have to wait roughly five seconds for that to happen There it goes and if I say do want to observe that mystery goo, I have it on uh, action group five, so I'm gonna hit that right now. There we go, and again, we're gonna have to wait five seconds-ish until it does pop up, and there we go, we have our mystery goo. And we'll keep that experiment, and... So that was that one. And here's where I bring up that point earlier where, actually I'm gonna flip this thing around so we can actually see the mystery goo containers. Uh, like I said earlier, if you don't turn off the ability to hide the actions, we can just go in here, right click and observe mystery goo. And there it goes, it pops up just like it normally would. So I honestly would say to hide that option when you start up a new game because otherwise it can be a little bit cheaty. Uh, for instance, we can do that for anything, even the retracting solar panels, that will do it automatically. Whereas otherwise, we using the action groups is what will actually give the delay. Now it does mean that things like Mech Jeb and Kerbal Operating System are a bit more important for your uh, missions if you do have the signal delay here because, well, yeah, you gotta you're not really going to be able to control your probe live, especially if you are wanting to land on a planet far away. For instance, let's actually just go and put our uh, ship here in, let's put it 150,000 around Duna. And trying to control a live mission from, oh boy, we have no, <laughs> we have no control. All right, hold on, I've actually got a adjust ourselves here so that we have there we are we have signal again if you wanted to control a mission live from duna well that's a three minute 37.12 second delay yeah you're not going to be piloting that probe manually so you are really going to want something like mech jeb or the kerbal operating system to properly plan out and execute those flights, which, you know, is kind of how it works in the real world. There's not someone behind a computer screen with a joystick flying in a probe to Mars. No, they just have it all calculated and predetermined. And I actually really like this mod. It does make probe missions harder. Manned missions, of course, with your Kerbals on board, will still be able to control things because there's a pilot there to do the thing but your probes will be a bit more difficult. And yeah, I, th I think that's fun. So if you would like to check this mod out for yourself, and I would definitely suggest that you do that, cause hey, it's entertaining. You can have a look at the link in the description as per usual, but that is going to be it for today's episode, my friends. I hope you all have enjoyed, and that you do come back for the next one. Hopefully we'll be looking at yet another wonderful mod, but until that time, thank you for watching. And as always, have a good one!